seven low risk businesses you can start tomorrow you don't find customers for your production you find production for your customers Sif Grodin written what's your product mm. say you want to start a business you're not alone many people dream of being their own boss calling the shots and becoming an entrepreneur but there are no guarantees in business and no matter how good your idea is or how hard you work at it there's still a chance you could fail Production. In fact, 50% of small businesses fail within their first four years, according to an off cited statistics from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. There are but a few things you can do to make the risk a small, well, less risky, a little less risky. It takes with the types of business you select. Some businesses are riskier, require more money and labor to get off the ground, and thus means you have more to lose. If you want to ensure the security of your future and the future of your potential business, consider starting one of these seven low-risk businesses. Consulting. When you're trying to think of a good business idea, start with what you already know. You can talk, take the th skills you already have and use them to advise clients as a consultant. Plus, you probably already have some industry contacts who could be potential clients. It makes the most sense to start there. As financial advisor Rami Seti wrote in his blog, when you are coming with business ideas, silence the inner critic that says you can't consider something unless you are credentialed or the world's greatest expert on the subject. All you have to be is good enough to help people achieve their goals. Whether your focus is website, design, marketing, sales or IT consulting is an easy business option because you can run it completely out of your own home with pretty much no startup cost. You can even start your business on the side and continue your full-time job until you earn enough to cover your regular wage, salary. Tutoring. Tutoring is another way to use the skills you already have to help others reach their goals. With tutoring, you'll guide students in academic subjects you already have knowledge in. It's easy to get started by working out of your own home. You can then market your tutoring services online or through a site like tutor.com to get the word out. As you grow, you might consider bringing others on board to join you. Virtual Assistant Are you sensing a theme here that always risks business ideas are the ones you can start from your own home? And according to Small Biz Trends, 69% of the US entrepreneurs start their business at home. That way you can save money and grow your business rapidly without worrying about the capital you've invested. As a virtual assistant, you can offer basic t tasks like putting together introductions and managing a schedule and coordinating errands all you need to get started is a phone computer and internet connection as with tutoring eventually you can hire more employees to grow your business and take on more work report reports do you have a reports as multiple spatial speaker Mary Folio wrote on Twitter, starting small doesn't mean thinking small. Direct sales, you've probably been to a Tupperware party before, or at least known someone who has, but did you ever consider hosting one yourself? Direct sales companies like Tupperware, Avon, and Mary Kay hire sales representatives to sell their merchandise and market their products. With this, mold as a sales representative you have the potential to earn as much money as you want depending on how much effort you put in this type of business offers a lot of flexibility since you can work on your own time you can even work part-time there is also a low cost to getting started according to the penny order mary Kay costs 100 to start Tupperware costs 99 avon just 10 to 20. the company will provide the tools you need to get started you then need to focus just on building your customer base Dropshipping. Think you're a whiz at marketing and sales you'll need to be to get your business up and running. Consider starting a dropshipping business. Your market and manage an e-commerce store, while a third party will be responsible for product development and fulfillment. With a service like Oberlo, starting a dropshipping business is simple. You don't have to worry about getting products to your customers. All you have to focus on is spreading the word about your products to your customers service business the businesses with the best chance of success tend to be service-based businesses not product-based businesses with a service-based business such as lawn care service or dog walking your focus is generally local instead of national which means there is less competition 
no matter what industry you're looking to break into though, it's best to do as much research as you can to understand the market. In a post for the balance business, writer Susan Ward wrote, when you're starting a business, you need to become an expert on your industry, product and services if you're not already. Senior Care on his blog, Seth Godin wrote, you don't find customers for your product, you find products for your customers. One of the best audiences to target today, seniors, baby boomers are growing older and there are 81.3 million of them, according to CNN. And what do they do? Research from AARP finds that 90% of seniors want to live independently by staying in their own homes as they age. This subscription, a huge business opportunity for you. These are potential customers with a need. Now you need just need a product. A senior home care business will be a complete way to serve this, perfect way to serve this audience. By knowing the customer's needs, you'll be able to provide the service they desire. Uh, 